Welcome to the PMI! Yeah. Yeah. Well, somebody and that. don't fucking knock <laughs> our camera over. <laughs> So we had a very special guest scheduled oh. for today, oh, and boy. I emphasize the word "had." Yes, Ramon Hernandez. The Hernandez. Guy. Yeah, the uh, the, the director of Glory Days, the right. uh, documentary that will make its premiere tonight at the Manhattan Film Festival, um, which chronicles the life and times of the New York City club scene and yours truly. Yours truly. <laughs> and, and there. And yours truly is not speaking to the director anymore. Apparently, and the director doesn't want to, didn't want to come on the show because well, he thought we were going to ambush him or he felt ask him embarrassing he, questions. Imagine he didn't want he didn't want me to see the documentary before uh, before he went on, and I did see the documentary before he went on. And when he you didn't it, even watch the whole thing. Well, I saw it half. There of it. was this huge fight between him and for, uh, Ramon about him seeing the documentary beforehand. So then Ramon sends it, and then he didn't even watch it. <laughs> I'm not speaking to you. I'm not watching your documentary. No, I did actually watch it. I watched half of it. I watched it with you. And you I, said, I watched like 20 minutes right. of it. And, but I didn't want to um, watch the whole thing because I thought, well, if we're going to go see it tonight, I don't want to watch the whole thing because then, you know, it, it'll be ruined. I want to see the, you know, I want to see it unfold. So, um, so I, now, the, after he found out that I did see it, then he got cold feet and I guess he thought I was going to a a ambush him, like you said, and ask him questions about some of the lies that he perpetrated in the documentary. And uh, <laughs> when, and so he asked me if I was going to ask him about really that. they're not really big lies. No. They're, they're, I mean, they're well, little lies. One of them is sort of, but. Um, Mischaracterization, misrepresentation. The big, the big thing is that. They, he insinuates very strongly that I held a party at Limelight after committing this awful crime. That I commit, that I held a party, and that I was the party was mocking the crime. And he, as did you as bring that truth, in? Right? I didn't. <laughs> well, well we, because we didn't know that he was going to do this. So, but uh, well, I, I have. The, we, but we, if you were here, you still wouldn't have the invite. Well, because I mean, we're doing a press thing afterwards, and I have. Or have it for that. Corey wanted me to save it for that. So it was that. So, what was it? The blood feast. It's the blood feast. Party. Like uh, some of you may remember that invite. It's out on the internet. It's Google an invitation it. of Jenny eating my brain or whatever. And, and um, it was recreated for the Party Monster movie. I believe. Right. And um, the date on that invitation is May seventeenth, nineteen ninety five. The crime was in nineteen ninety six. So, so in fact, Your Honor. Yeah. The party <laughs> happened <laughs> almost a year <laughs> before the crime. Right. So, and but ever so conveniently, for narrative gonna... purposes, it got switched around. Well, he, he, he never says the date. He just... But he flashes the invite on right. the screen, so he's saying, and then he had a party, right. but, and then it has the date right on, <laughs> on the invite, so he's saying you, Well, that, you have to look the, very closely, or, you know, or freeze frame the... Pay no attention to that date on the right. corner. So when he found out that I was going to bring that up, he, um, he stood us up, and he said, I'm not coming. Coward. Yeah. Coward, right? Yeah, well. So, um, can I tell my Michael Busta story? So, oh. Oh. Well, we're gonna tell. No, we're gonna we're gonna tell our other story about uh, Ramon. One of the other things that we kind of wanted to bring up while he was here was this trick that he played on Michael and James St. James. Oh. It was a very clever trick, sleight of hand with microphones where he assured Michael and James, oh, these microphones are not on, we're just gonna have, we're just gonna put them on you because, um, well, because you know, they just were to be earlier. ready for well, later. Well, they were on earlier. We were okay, they were filming, filming earlier. earlier. Okay, and, um, still needed know, to keep them on, just in case we decide to right. film some more. And, um, now go over there and just talk amongst right. yourself. He said he needed, do he needed distant shots. I, I need, he, I, wide angle, baby. Wide angle, exactly. So, so, of course, when Michael and James are alone, what do they talk about? We, but? Become, <laughs> we become, you know, a little bit obnoxious and a little bit, uh, <laughs> I mean, okay. We're actually, we're actually throughout the entire. They were, they were filming Party Monster Two as well, and we were kind. You know, we hadn't seen each other in 17 years. And this is a long time. This was a year ago almost. We hadn't seen each other, and the first time we were together, and there was cameras on us. Of course, we're going to be obnoxious, and just, and what do you talk about? Well, we were making fun of basically everybody who was around us, and. Um, <laughs> Um, but and, and one person who's not. Well, not making fun of it. We were in a jovial, Gal it was gallows it was humor. Gallows humor. We were in a jovial mood, and we were sort of standing by the Hudson River, la laughing at everything and talking about the crime and everything. And the angel, uh, angels. It was where we had 
you know, commit this crime. Oh, and saying. James, or me, somebody, we had this conversation between us, and there was a convers you know, somebody saying, you know, that they, oh, I think I see a box floating out in the river or something like that. <laughs> and um, James. Caught on camera. And, and, and James started laughing, and um, Ramon came over and said, you're, you're, you're so lucky that I'm the one making this documentary, um, that I'm family, um, I understand what you're doing, I understand that this is gallows humor and this is the way that you handle these situations, but if I was anybody else... It's just else, your coping mechanism, right? If, if mechanism, I was right? World of Wonder, uh, I would use this footage and I would, I would make you look awful. And, and um, I'd make a fortune off of and it. And I would make a fortune off of it, like World of Wonder did, um, but thank God that I'm not World of Wonder and I... No, got sir. I got integrity. Never and, gonna use it. Right. And so it's in the documentary. <laughs> and um, and he knew that I was gonna bring that up too, so he ran and he's scared. So Coward. Can I tell my Michael Musto story? We'll be right back <laughs> with John's Michael Musto story. And now a word from our sponsor. You know, I was sort of shocked when they when they asked me the first time because normally I'm the one who's orchestrating you know, this big show and inviting people to be part of or whatever. And um, it, I, this is kind of the first time that I was on the opposite end of that. I was honestly, I was, I was busy focusing on my, on my artwork and uh, cute guys' butts. Welcome back to the pew. Oh, Welcome back to the pew. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, we're back with John Simone, who was doing an homage to Michael on CNN in his underwear. I don't know if you know. Oh my God! If you know oh, no. when your underwear? Michael did his uh, interview when they pulled out, he was wearing his underwear because, of course, you know, national television invited him to an interview. And what does he do? He takes off his pants. Well, yeah. fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Yes, except that I took off my. It was very hot, and I took my pants off because we were at a table where nobody would see that I was not wearing pants. And they, the producer, ah, right? a glass the, table. The producers assured me that nobody would see. This was just last week. Just so, like Ramon assured you. Well, yes. when, when will you learn? When the cameras pull back, there I am sitting at CNN with the with the two anchors and in, in, without any pants on. <laughs> and it was live. All okay. right, tell your story. Okay, first of all, you know I'm in the movie too. Okay. Which movie we talking about? Oh, oh screw yourself. Oh, and uh, for okay, nobody gets paid right when they're interviewed in a movie. Well. Ramon is using 100 of my classic Club Kid photos. To I hope he didn't pay you by check. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> and and he, he sent me a lovely email. He said, John, your work is a huge piece of my puzzle. Speaking of huge piece. Isn't that nice? And anyway, uh, my Michael Musto story. I love Michael Musto. He did a lovely story on, on but, me. Listen to me on the block.com. And uh, first of all, what's my story? Just tell it fast. <laughs> yes. He wanted, he wanted to use one of my photos from the movie for his out.com column, national syndicate, national gay paper. Oh, but we can't pay you. And I told him, Michael, tell your lame ass online editors, if they don't have 200 measly bucks for, to pay for my photo, tell them to go fuck themselves. But please say it to them nicely, okay? And then I blocked Michael Musto. Okay. Titanic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> please. Uh, <laughs> What is it? Please, know. <laughs> please remain in your seats while we're filming because there is a camera and you guys are walking in front of it. Um, thank you. <laughs> what do the bitches want to know? Bitches want to know why John Simone is taking off his clothes on the view. Because my column was called Exposed in Alex Magazine in Toronto for Alex. It should be called Hijacked. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Ziggyfull wanted to know if Michael and I were cartoons, which characters would we oh, be? Oh, I thought the question was, are you and Michael cartoons? <laughs> <laughs> After the, singular, the technological singularity, I believe I will be a cartoon. I, I already am a cartoon. And, and, uh, and I'm Bugs Bunny. Enough said about that. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. <laughs>